You know, in this part of our world, when lies are being concocted and you allow it, it becomes, uh, people will say, this is the true fact. I have always believed that when the left speaks, allow the right to also speak. We are not getting young guy every day. As the day passes, you get old. And so it is important that when issues are raised or when speeches are made, you should be able to say, look, this is a part of my own story. Um, and so that the public will be able to put everything together and say, look, this is what we have decided, or this is what we say, this is the truth, and this is a lie. It's most unfortunate. Uh, since after our primaries, I have decided to be quiet because this is a party I love so much. I've never said anything. I decided to go back home and focus on fulfilling the remaining promises I made to the people of the state. But there comes a time uh, that people will understand and know the true facts of things. So obviously, when I will speak, it is not a doubt that I will speak and let Nigerians know the actual truth. Having known the truth, whatever they decide to do with it is left for Nigeria. Because you can imagine the, the presidential candidate of the PDP, Arajat Abagatu, when he unveiled his uh, vice presidential candidate, no right thinking, a lover of this party, will uh, say that the speech he made on that day was fair. No right thinking lover of this party. Forget about the one seekers. Forget about the, about the scavengers. And I never reacted to it. I said, look, this party belongs to all of us. Thereafter, he appeared before the Arise uh, television. See the statements he made. So many lies were told. And then he said, I should not react to some of those issues. That would not be fair. As human today, I'm not alive. Obviously, what they have said will be accepted as the truth. Look at his attack dogs. Sule Lamido, Babangida Aliyu, Maina Waziri. Look at the statements they issued. Look at the abuses they rained on me. I never reacted. And Nigerians will say, look, you mean this thing happened? So it is important that as a person and for my own future and for those who are around me, to say, look, this is not fair. This is not fair. So I have to make sure I will react line by line, statements made by Atikou Abaka himself and his attack dogs. I will do that. Nobody, though if anybody who loves me will not advise me not to react, because why would you not react? Look at if a presidential candidate 
who believes he wants to win election that somebody who contested fiercely with him has never raised any issue. I just kept quiet, just minded my business, see how my state can move forward. Every day, every day, his people come up to attack me, to say one thing or the other. That's quite unfair. Also, I should let Nigerians to know. At the appropriate time, after the commissioning of the projects we have lined up, they say, look, this is correct, this is not correct. So that prosperity, history will be on our side that we have been able to keep the records straight. And so that nobody should be in doubt whether I'm going to speak on the issue of PDP, on the issue of the primaries, and other related matters. Nobody should be in doubt of that. I'm going to certainly speak. Nigerians will know what happened. Nigerians will know. Those who love this country, and just who grow, what went behind. And that is uh, to assure you I want to speak on that. It has nothing to do with whether I like you or not. No, 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 it has nothing to do with PDP. It has to do with putting the facts straight, putting records straight. It's not for me to go and hire journalists and begin to say all kinds of things. No, it's not for that. So, certainly I'm going to speak. Okay, why would we wait for you to do that? Your party is saying they set up a, a committee, just like uh, the President Shaka and the PSC have done, and they claim they've reached out to you. Can you confirm if they've actually reached out to you? Again, that's to tell you, you see, when people tell lies, it's most unfortunate. Most unfortunate. I've heard a lot of stories, for, uh, for example, some senators called me that Atika Abubaka said he sent Bukhara Saraki to be. That is not fair. That is not correct. I was in Spain. Bukhara came to me. I said, my brother, how do you settle this problem? I said, where is standing by Atika Abubaka? I said, no. I said, so what do you want me to do? Look at the issue. He said, look, the matter is so serious. He never knew of this, this, and this, and that. So, Abu Bakatiku has never, forget about sending rent seekers around him as scavengers. In fact, some of them will call my friends, oh boy, tell your guy now, make him support us. It has reduced to that level. I have become guy. I've never seen it. I've never seen it. We are serious Monday people who reduce issues like this. To this level, I mean, or if people are, you see, so you don't even know who is the caller. If you see a phone, I mean a call, who is this? Yes, sir, uh, please, you know, you are with this party. Please, sir, we are begging you, don't leave the party. Who is talking about the issue of leaving party? I don't even know who is talking to me. I think Abu Bakr came to my house to say I should support him. So he doesn't know my house again. He doesn't know my house. Now, people are calling you, those you don't even know, are calling your phone. And yes, I will beg you, uh, please support, I mean, all kinds of things. Trivializing issues. No way. I would not accept that. I will not accept that. So, Atuga Abubaka cannot say that he has sent anybody to let one person, let one person say, he came to see me and sent by Atiku Abubaka. Let one person in the party. Forget about those who are running around, you know, looking for what they had, they will survive. They say, oh, we tried to call him, he did not pick. I don't know your phone number. He tried to call me. If he tried to call me, it was okay. I, you sent text. I am this person calling. Please, I want to talk with you. Nobody has done that. Every day I read on pages of newspapers, oh, they send a committee, a committee coming to see me, okay, this and this and that and that. I want to tell members of the public, as far as I'm concerned, this party, I love the party. This party, I have been committed and I've been able to be this party. I'm not one of those who are running around the presidential candidate. Oh, I want to be I call them seekers, scavengers. 
looking for how they will survive. Not, you see, general election is not primary election. Delegates, where uh, you can bring, like I said, I'm going to speak. I'm going to speak, Nigerians will know what actually happened. What is the hope for this country? Who are those who love this country? Not by mere talking. Let's say no. Who know? Who know? Because it is there for Nigerians to say, look, see what has happened, and see what is going to happen. So, as far as I'm concerned, nobody, nobody, nobody. In fact, I had uh, somebody told me that the national chairman said he spoke to me with all due respect. He never called me. He, in fact, my, my auntie came to me that, oh, uh, national chairman is on the phone. I said, how are you fine? Oh, this is I said, I'm traveling. When I come back, I So, let's everybody, since after 29th, 30th of May, not one person, not one person has come to talk to me. Forget about hiring journalists, press uh, and in depth like uh, 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 Ruben Abati, who was a former chief press secretary to the president. Sometimes when you read or hear what he says, you begin to wonder, where are we heading to? No more investigative journalism. Nothing like that happened. People just stay from one place, concoct stories, say all kinds of things they want to say. But like I said, I remain silent. But I can't continue to remain silent. Nigerians must know what happened. Nigerians must know who are those that love them. Who Nigerians must know are we serious and my leadership of this country. Who was? So I would urge everybody to be patient. To be patient. After the commissioning, our projects were lined up, then we'll be able to speak to them and tell them what happened. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter who is involved. I'm not a slave, and I will not be a slave. I'm a free born of this country. I must be able to say how things are. Whether it suits you, it does not suit you, it's immaterial. So the uh, members of the public should please bear with us that we must put the records straight. If you don't put the second strength, history will not be happy with you. Thank you very much.